heights. What if the president of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado, could mount the stage to offer us yet another innovative solution to make this what if a reality? What if? What if, Mr. President, you could kindly mount the stage to outdoor and unveil the new era of education? Eminent clergy, Christian and Muslim, the Vice President, the MPP presidential candidate for the 2024 election, Minister for Education and Member of Parliament for Bosomtri, the Minister for Chieftaincy and Religious Affairs, Deputy Minister for Education and Member of Parliament for Asin South. Ministers and Deputy Ministers designate Members of Parliament. Director General of the Ghana Education Service. The Head of the Local Government Service. President of the Conference of Heads of Assisted Secondary Schools, CHAS. Leadership of Teacher Unions. Esteemed Traditional Rulers from Mamfe, Equiapim and Osu members of the diplomatic corps, students, fellow Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> On 27th February 2024, whilst delivering the message on the state of the nation to Parliament, I intimated that government had began the rollout of the one tablet per student policy at all senior high schools. It is intended to be a great tool to help bridge the gap between disadvantaged and privileged students. Today, I have the singular honor of launching officially yet another intervention to, to add further impetus to what I've already described as a transformative policy that has broken myths and liberated minds, the free senior high school program. Ladies and gentlemen, education is not merely a right, a privilege. We now know that it is a fundamental right whose enforcement empowers individuals, transforms societies, and propels nations towards progress and development. As we gather here today, let us reflect on the crucial role that education plays in shaping the destiny of our nation. Indeed, education is at the center of poverty eradication. It therefore explains why, against all odds, I went ahead to propose and subsequently implemented the Free Senior High School Program, popularly known as Free SHS 
in September 2017, six, nine months after I took office. From the initial annual enrollment of 422,940 in 2017, some 503,000 children enter senior high school this year, the highest ever enrollment of children into senior high school in a single year in our history. With 5.10 million children having so far benefited from this SHS policy since it was instituted in September 2017. The considerable budgetary allocations within the period, totaling some 12.8 billion CDs, amply demonstrate the sheer determination by the Akufuado government to ensure that education becomes a catalyst around with the future transformation of our I'm particularly proud of how in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic and other dire economic constraints, we've been able to sustain the free senior high school program and advance it even further with the addition of TVET and STEM without compromising the needs of the lower level of our education system. Again, I have on a previous occasion touted my administration's monumental strides in the digitalization agenda and singled out for praise the leadership role of my excellent and indefatigable vice president, <laughs> Dr. Mohamedou Baumia. The man all of us, including even his enemies in the MDC, called Dr. Digitalization. <laughs> Through the, his sterling efforts, transparency, efficiency, and accountability in the public sector have improved significantly. Under my direction, government took a decision to align the digitalization agenda to education improvement initiatives from pre-treasury all the way to the tertiary level, which is the reason for today's function. Government is determined to derive the optimum benefits in the twin areas of education and digitalization. I dare say that the investment and commensurate commitment towards education enhancement over the last seven years is unmatched by any government since the inception of our Fourth Republic some 31 years ago. These are seen in the areas of policy, infrastructure, equipment and retooling, furniture, scholarship, stationary provision, and enhancement of teacher welfare. One of the things that the COVID-19 pandemic succeeded in doing to us was to expose our vulnerability in so many areas of our lives, including the education sector. But it also created for us opportunities for innovation. It taught us to think, to find new ways to solve our problems. One of such was an opportunity to leverage on the digitalization option it presented to us. Indeed, the pandemic, the pandemic gave us a rare opportunity to accelerate the adoption of digital technology and shielded productivity. You'll realize that as a forward-looking government, we seized the opportunity led by the Vice President to close the gaps that were existing in our digitalization space, and most importantly, ensure that the gains from digitalization policies are broadly shared in an inclusive manner. Based on this, government instituted a number of measures to ensure that education delivery was not hampered in any way. Students and teachers wore no nose marks or face shields 
and online or technology-aided distance education became popularized. The Ministry of Education spearheaded the distribution of some 200,000 laptops to teachers in pre tertiary institutions nationwide to enable them to derive maximum use of the computers. Government trained beneficiary teachers on usage and utilization of applications embedded in the computers to facilitate the preparation of lesson notes and research, among other uses. This meant that the use of chalk and its associated health risks to both students and teachers were eliminated, thereby making our education delivery environmentally sustainable as enshrined in the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals 3, 4, 8, and 11, as well as the tenets of the UN Climate Change Conferences of COPs 21 and 27. In furtherance of our digitalization agenda in the education sector, government is proceeding with plans to distribute 1.3 million educational tablets to students in senior high schools. That is one student per tablet under the Ghana Smart Schools project. The tablets are fitted with digital contents to aid research, teaching, and learning. At the tertiary level, government plans to provide at a discounted price tablets and laptops to students and lecturers to facilitate academic work. Though largely successful, government continues to seek innovative ways to boost further the free SHS policy. Government is convinced that the next phase of free SHS enhancement will be propelled by digitalization. This will allow a seamless online and offline teaching and learning experience. Indeed, the enhanced free SHS school will be environmentally friendly, boost academic performance, fitted with interactive displays, interactive learning, and increased productivity, which is what has given birth to the Ghana Smart Schools project. The project seeks to deepen the application of IT in teaching and learning at the second cycle level. It will ultimately enhance the performance of students and prepare them better for higher learning and the competitive careers in future. The other component of the Ghana Smart School project is the provision of modernized infrastructure. Government intends to build 100 smart schools across the country. The first 30 of these will be completed this year, and the remaining 70 expected to be completed in the next two years. And for the avoidance of doubt, it is planned that the 100 smart schools will be located in the following cities and towns in all 80, 16 regions. Eastern region, Kufuridia, Akropong, Chebi and Abetifi, Greater Accra region, Atimota, Ajingano, Amasamai and Medina. Volta region, Ho, Oti region, Dambai, Ahafu region, Mem, Blanc East Region, Techiman and Nkuranza, North East Region, Nalerigo, Western North Region, Enchi, Central Region, Salpon and Kasua, Western Region, Takrade, Takwa and Wasa Ekropol, Bono Region, Sunyane, Fiapre, Ashanti Region, Tepa, Jabeng, Mampong, and Kumase, Bantama. Upper East Region, Bogatanga and Binduri. Upper West Region, Wa. Northern Region, Karaga, Tamale, and Yendi. And Savannah Region, Damango. 
These smart school buildings will be fitted with solar panels as we seek to promote new and environmentally sustainable energy. In fact, these smart schools will be off the national electricity grid. They will also have They will also have digitalized infrastructure to advance teaching and learning. The physical infrastructure takes cognizance of our unique climatic conditions and will create a condu conducive atmosphere for learning. The schools will represent a new urban landmark for urban and rural land use and planning. There will be modern, iconic facilities depicting the collective resolve of a people for transformative and futuristic education. The Ghana School Smart Schools Project is in alignment with government's promise to enhance the free Siena high school program, leveraging on technological advancements to enable students compete globally. It is in fulfillment of the Education for Sustainable Development Agenda a key element in the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development Goals No. 4, which prioritizes quality education, a key driver for the attainment of all 17 SDGs. It will provide the needed infrastructure to facilitate e-learning and digitalization to boost high school education in the country. Under a well-thought-out arrangement, each student will be provided with an electronic tablet on which our comprehensive teaching and learning management systems and digital learning contents to facilitate research, teaching, and learning. In conclusion, I am confident that together we can build a future where every Ghanaian child has access to a world-class education that unlocks his or her full potential. Let us embrace this opportunity to transform our schools into hubs of innovation and excellence. Let us work tirelessly to ensure that no child is left behind in the digital age. I want to thank the Ministry of Education the Ghana Education Service, and the Center for Distance Learning and Open Schooling, which together have made this project a reality. The dedication of its members to the future of our nation is truly commendable. Let us continue to work together, knowing that the investments we make today will shape the destiny of generations to come. Accordingly, Ladies and gentlemen, it is my singular honor and pleasure to declare the Ghana Smart Schools Project duly launched. May God bless our efforts 